What's going on boys, no guides here. Today's video we're going to go over the custom tactics and instructions for the 352. But firstly, why a 352? Have you ever played a 442 but you lack that cam that 352 has that? Have you ever played a 41212 but figured out you haven't got wide play as well? The 352 has that. You played a 4231 and just wish I had that extra striker. Well, the 352 has that. It's the most attacking formation because it encompasses a 41212. A 3-5-2 composed of 4 one 2 one 2 4 2 3 one and 4 4 2 So if you can't attack with this, you can't basically attack with anything in my opinion. Um, I'm going to go for test instructions right now. Don't skip ahead so you make sure you know why things are done, where and how you can adjust it for your play style. Um, defensive style. Now this is important. Um, you can use pressure on heavy touch or possession loss if you're Division 3 and above. But I recommend leaving it on balance. Just because the way you lose the ball. The only downside of the formation is you have three defenders when you're attacking. You're defending a five back. But you got to wait for these guys to come back. So I'll just leave it on balance if you know you struggle with defending. Um, the defensive width but it's down to 40. There's nothing funky going on. It's only one striker really comes back to defend. So you actually defend in a 5 3 one, one. That's the way that you defend this formation. So you're one that strikers on comeback and defense. And that is it. Um, we want to be a bit more compact just because it's naturally quite a wide formation defensively. Um, the, the depth now, I did put this on 65. You might have seen this from my tactics video last year. Thanks for your feedback. If you're on old gen, I'd recommend bringing this up to 60. Um, if you're on new gen, um, I'm playing this on 47. I think it's a good balance because you're already quite far ahead anyway. And you don't want to be too far ahead because you still want to do those L1 triangles over the top. Um, so you don't want to be too high up the pitch as well when you win the ball back. Um, now we go over to the, the actual... Build up play now. I would recommend long ball. When you have long ball with this formation, the key things is, is these two players here. You need them to make runs in behind. Thanks for your feedback, by the way. Uh, I gave the feedback out for the 352 from all levels of yours, yours that came back to me. Thank you very much for your feedback. I did read it. I can assure you if I didn't respond. And what I found that a lot of players were struggling is bringing the ball going forward. Long ball will help you in that. Do not use fast build up play. I think it's too quick. Long ball is based at halfway point. Don't forget, long ball only happens in the first two thirds, by the way. It's not the final third. Don't ever get that confused. But long ball is perfect for those L1 triggers in behind. If you want to do those lob through balls to ear these players, then of course you can do that. Then chance creation. Now, I, I would say direct passing is really the way to go in the final third. Um, some of you that may be on old gen may prefer forward runs. In fact, I always did prefer forward runs. But um, I think on new gen, definitely direct passing is the way to go it's the best thing to use and don't forget you actually attack with a five attack line you basically have this five players and then the cam just behind so direct passing works very very well with this team and i'd highly recommend it probably if not one of my favorite um attacking styles this year is a 352 and it's probably going to stay in my this layout for a long time the actual width um 55 uh, you can always use hug the side lines for the left mid and right mid 55 just want a bit of a, a bit of a Bit of a distance, bit of a gap, but nothing too crazy. One of is pretty balanced in attack. We can always use hug the sidelines to make these players wider if we want to. We don't have to worry about that too much. And that is why we've gone with um, 55. Players the box, we're going to put this to 7. In particular, you want these players coming inside the box from opposite ends. Um, if you do like to do the German crossing, if you know, you know. I'm not going to teach you that, but if you know, this would be effective for that. Um, but um, either way, you still want those players going inside the box. Um, but you can always, this is what I do, I put it on five and I do this manually with instructions. I'll explain to you how I do that. Corners and free kicks, however you want. Now, the most important one. The striker you want to defend, to come back on the fence, has to be on comeback and defense. Now, what would happen is in the defensive phase, he would go like this and you'll create a back line of five. Son will join the attack. Defense, should I say, Valverde would be here. And Park will be over here. So you defend this in a 5-3-1-1. One, one. When you're attacking, you're attacking a 3-5-2. So putting one of your strikers on combat defense is telling the game, I want you to come back as a left center mid. That's what's happening. So it bypasses this cam. I put them on comeback and offense, get it behind. I put stay central on both my strikers now. So one's on stay forward, one's on comeback and offense, both in getting behind. Stay central is important, I think, this year. They drift too wide, and I want them in the middle. I know a lot of people like to use them on balance, but I like them to always be in the middle. Now, the cam, this is very important. He has to be on stay forward. You cannot put him on comeback and offense, it will mess up the system. He has to be on stay forward. That way, Sun can force himself back to left center mid when you're defending. So, you want someone who's got high stamina, ideally. Um, but yeah, get into the box for cross, as I said, we do it manually. 
that is the cam position. If you do want to get better at FIFA 23, I do have a FIFA score series, but just before you skip ahead, what if I told you if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money? I can say that because I've been running my paid advance in that FIFA score series successfully for many years and thousands of others have joined already and still stay on. This is for all levels of those that want to improve on FIFA and you won't find these videos on my YouTube channel. These videos are a progressive systematic learning system that teaches you everything from the core mechanics of FIFA to the meta so you can get better at FIFA as a whole, not just this game with examples and explanations that go beyond the scope of YouTube videos. With new videos coming out every single week, these videos also adjust to recent updates and patches so you can stay up to date. So come join thousands of others in a mature audience community for those looking to get better. Patreon.com forward slash nil guides, link is down below in the description. Now when you join, we already have a library of hundreds of videos that are specifically made for both new gen and old gen. With new videos and FIFA 23 getting added every single week. We also have an additional group coaching as well that we started this year due to high demand and high request. And don't forget guys, it's a money back guarantee. So if you don't get better after one month, I'll refund your money. That is the nil guides guarantee. Anyway, link is down below in the description, patreon.com forward slash nil guides. But anyway, back to the video. Um, if we head over to left mid and right mid, now we've gone back to kind of a classic system, come back in a fence, get in behind, get into the box for cross and conserve interceptions for both of them. Um, again, get into the box for cross is basically, we can put this on five and they're still gonna get into the box. So it overrides that anyway. So we don't we don't put get wide or anything like that. We can always use hug the sidelines if we want to anyway. Um, so we just put them on get it behind so they make those runs forward for the L1 triangles, etc. etc. Uh conservative just because stamina is kind of an issue, you can still sub these players off, but we're just leaving them there for now. And of course we want them to come back to defend because that's how they make the back five. Defensive CDM, cut passing lanes, cover center, stay back while attacking. The other one, you could mirror him. Now, I would only recommend this for players that actually are quite good at defending. You can leave one of these guys on balance. Now, for 90% of you that are watching this, you should not be using this. Even I don't use this. Um, I'm, I'm better off just, you're better off just triggering the, with the L1 or the LB button, pushing them forward manually or one, two. Um, but there's some players that can only play with a centre mid, kind of exploiting the half space. So you leave them on balance if you want to. Um, but if you're playing more counter attack, don't do it. It's not going to help you. Now, um, for the left centre back and right centre back, we put them on overlap, just so they go a bit wider. And that is pretty much it. That's basically it. when you have the ball, um, and then that way you can do those through balls. You ideally want good passes here. Now, the team setup is also equally important. So let me show you how I have mine. This is how I have mine set up. I have all these players like this. And then I have Park and Lorente, okay? So you come up against my team. Don't go try hard against me and part of the bus, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you see that team. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, so I put Lorente as left center mid uh, or left mid in some other formations, but I put him as a left mid and then Correa goes right mid, okay? If I need to, I sub these players off. Park, G Sung and Valverde, you have like a kind of a, you want like a Kante player here. You know, you want a Valverde here basically. And you want someone along, someone like a, you want a Valverde, Valverde Vieira, and then you want like a Hullet or a Park, G Sung or yeah, a Torre, someone that can go forward as well is what you want. Cam, you want someone like Neymar, Someone that's quite agile on the ball. And they won the strikers. I go with one clunky like the R9, CR7, Haaland. And on the left hand side, you want to go with someone like Butragueno, maybe a bit more smooth on the ball. For now, I'm using Sun, um, but I'm always going to change him long term. And then these guys have to be fast. I don't want to see no Ruben Diaz here. They have to be fast players here at the back, guys. You can't have anyone slow. I'm telling you, no, you cannot. You have to have people that have got pace here. While Crinos, I'll be honest, he's okay okay um given the fact that he's with a shadow um i don't care about lengthy with a shadow he pushes his sprint speed to 89 he's okay he just that he has high defense awareness so i get away with it a lot of the time but you ideally want fast players here so if you got someone here on the outside who's got below i would say 85 sprint speed you're done they act as left backs and right backs i always just sub on someone if i want to i just sub on someone like uh, frankowski 
he goes on or I put Nuno Mendes or even Klosterman just because he's got high sprint speed and you get the job done. Anyway, that's the 3 5 stacks instructions. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, the full tactical layout will come out tomorrow. And if you want to get better at FIFA, come join my FIFA school series, patreon.com forward slash no guys. You can click here. Don't give up the one month. I'll refund your money. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Peace.